Here is a second example of that nice result that says the expected value of a sum is the sum of the expected values. If n married couples are sitting at random positions around a round table, what is the expected number of wives sitting next to their husbands? So keep in mind here, for this particular table, there are two n chairs because there are n married couples. And let's go ahead and start this problem out by defining a random variable x sub i, which will be a 0 if wife i is apart, sitting apart from husband i. And x i will equal 1. You can think of that as success if wife i is next to husband i and that will be defined for i equals 1 through n. Now in this case if we want the expected number of wives sitting next to their husbands that is to say, we want the expected value of the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i. Now, you know from the result the expected value of a sum is the sum of the expected values. But as it turns out, no couple is special here. They're all the same, so we're adding up the same thing n times. So this is the same as n times the expected value of, let's just call them couple number one, is sitting next to each other with a one here. Well, this happens to be a Bernoulli random variable because it can only take on the values 0 and 1. And the expected value of a Bernoulli random variable is the same as the probability that that Bernoulli random variable takes on the value 1. So now the problem can be worked by determining the probability that one couple is sitting next to one another. And so let's go ahead and we could put the wife in a chair or the husband in the chair. Let's just put the husband in one of these two n chairs. Well, if that is the case, then the wife has two n minus one chairs to choose from. And of those two n minus one chairs, two of them, namely the chair to the left of the husband or the chair to the right of the husband, correspond to sitting next to the husband, that is the probability x1 equals 1. So what we get for this particular probability is 2n divided by 2n minus 1. Now a couple notes on this result. First of all, this is only good for n values which are greater than or equal to 2. And because the, the reason that is, is if we look at the case of n is equal to 1, well, in the case of n equals 1, if you plug in here, you will get 2 divided by 1, and 2 divided by 1 is 2. And if you just have one couple, the number of wives sitting next to their husband has to be 1 not two. So this one falls apart in the case of a single couple because you simply have the husband and wife sitting on opposite sides of a round table and of course they are next to each other in that case. Another thing that's kind of interesting about this is if you take the limit as n goes to infinity, as this table gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the expected number of wives sitting next to their husbands so the expected value of the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i. In the limit, this expression right here 
goes to 1. So as that table gets larger and larger, the expected number of couples sitting adjacent to one another is equal to 1.